It's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. All right, so here she is, one of the more prolific kickboxers to cross into the UFC in some time. She might kick harder than you, bro. Oh, yeah, she does kick so hard. I mean, you look at the videos. The videos are all out there. And you watch this young lady landing these brutal leg kicks on the bag, landing the high kicks, the body kicks. It's, it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is. She's so aggressive in her approach. She's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can't, how she could be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. All right, here she is, the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Holly Holm. It was Melbourne, Australia. It was UFC 193, November 15th of 2015, when Holly Holm effectively changed her life forever. Holly Holm changed her life, but she changed the landscape of mixed martial arts. Yes. She showed that Ronda Rousey was not this unbeatable fighter that everybody thought she was to be. Went out there, set her traps with that lead left hand, used her footwork and movement to walk Rousey right into a beautiful head kick that finished the fight. A multiple-time boxing champion, amateur kickboxing background. Holly Holm is just truly something special. And that Rousey win still one of the biggest upsets, betting odds or otherwise, in UFC history. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a re charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia, fast. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Holly the Preacher's Doctor. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. Two decorated strikers here. And I would think even a world-class wrestler like yourself still enjoys a classic stand-up affair like this every now and then. Oh, yeah, I love this one. I love this one because both of these women know that the easiest way to get their hands raised is to fight in the area that they are best. Both of them are fantastic strikers. One is much more powerful. One is much more quick. Let's see who gets the job done. Just misses with a left hook there. Ooh, what a punch. 
She's got the Muay Thai plum. Right hand punch from the clinch. Top floor is going down to the basement. Nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Under three minutes to go in round one. Powerful leg kick lands. Big kick. Way to hide that leg kick. More clinching. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Set the track. Now connects with a right. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. There's no give on that leg kick. Minute and a half to go in our opening round. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Kick checked by Holm. Under a minute to go. Forward, forward. 45 seconds to go here in round one. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Hands up, hands up. 20 seconds left. Big kick lands. Leg kick throw. Horn sound for the end of round one. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. All right, DC, second round is getting Red underway. Fight. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what you saw in round number one. Oh, the right hand is there for him. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and you're jabbing and it's landing, if your opponent's landing more dominant strikes, you run the risk of the judge scoring for them. Right. 
Get in there, stick your nose in the fight. Don't be afraid to get a little bit dirty. Nice strike. So again, they will clinch here. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Back and forth we go. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Just over three minutes to go. Nice straight punch. Oh, oh big nice. knee. Let's get going now. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Holm gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Went for the inside leg kick. There it is. Take the shot now. Take the shot. There it is. You can't take many of those. You better check. So 33 total strikes have connected for Holly Holm. Well, and still connecting on a pretty good clip, DC. 45% accuracy thus far against Holly Holm. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Don't stay there. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Let's and get the Fifteen seconds. Well, Holmes' attempt there is blocked by the opponent. And that's the end of round number two. Sit down, take a deep breath. You all right? You with me? Okay. Listen. I need you. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. 
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Nice move for punch. Just unable to quite find that range. Plus right hand is true. Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. All right, you're doing great, girl. You're doing great. Breathe and relax for me. Dig and kick. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I won that Another clinch position. Nice head kick. That's a big strike right there. Let's go, look for that takedown. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes for Holly Holm. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against Holly Holm. 45 seconds remain in the round. Let's see that low kick. Take down, take down, Big take kick down. lands. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. Twenty seconds left. It's time to look for that takedown now. Ten seconds to go in the round. Yeah. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You gotta make a decision when you get up off of your school, going to the next round, that this is my fight, and I am not gonna allow it to slip through my fingers. Just unable to quite find that range. Work. Well, how impressive. Oh! Huge right hand. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike lands. Oh! Another clinch position. And they separate. Give me a takedown, baby. Just unable to quite find that range. And that one certainly found the target. Let's work, come on. <laughs> Big kick lands. I want you forward, forward. Get that takedown. Good stick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Superman punch lands! Sprint, sprint, sprint! Oh, huge knee to the body. That'll soften her up. Take down, take down. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect. Holm gets caught with that punch. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Let's work. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Seconds. 
And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Big kick land. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, that's a nice strike. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, take a seat, bro. Listen, we're down on the scorecards. I need you to fight smart. If you start losing the stand-up battle, I want you to look for the takedown, okay? All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. You be first. Strike first. Here we go. Look at the turtle in that kick. Just a slip there. Holly Holmes kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Again, in the clinch. Right hand punch in the clinch. And they separate. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. Right, that allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Back in the clinch now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Effective punch there by the creature's dog. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. They continue to exchange. gets in there. It sounds obvious, but she clearly needs a knockout or a TKO or a submission or she's going to be on the wrong end of the scorecard. Oh, she's got to do something. You are not going to win this fight if you let it go to the judges. Forward, forward. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Nice. That's it. Nice shot. 
There's no tell on that leg kick. Another clinch position. Oh, nice strike landed there by Holly Holm. I need more strikes. 45 seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Nice punch by Hall. Beautiful head kick. Oh, nice leg kick by her there, DC. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. Landed it beautifully. She's so fast with that strike. No wind up, no tell. So her opponent does not see it coming. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her. And you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Ah! All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision. And Certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax a little bit as she wins a unanimous decision. I thought that this was one of her best performances to date.